Hi guys, it's Nandi. Welcome back to Vibrant Authentic Living, guys. I am sharing with you today about the hot pepper. Hot, hot, hot pepper. No. In Jamaica, we have this saying, you're hot like pepper seed. When you know you're hot like pepper seed, this is what they're talking about. No. If you are cooking and one of these seeds, I said one. Listen to me carefully, I said one. One of these seeds happen to get away in the pot. Prepare for it. Prepare for it, okay? These peppers are hot. These are cayenne peppers. Cayenne peppers. Look how beautiful they are, though. Look at that rich yellow color. You also have... They, they also have green... I guess some are green naturally even when they're ripe and some are green because they are not yet ripe also have you have different colors but the pepper it does have this beautiful shape it just ha has this lovely contour look at the contour the, and the, 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 the brilliant color and just how defined it is. I love how defined. Just take a look at the definition. Look at the definition in it. So well formed. Now in the Caribbean, we have a culture of, we love spicy things. We love peppery things. I for one love pepper. I love the flavor of it and I think it's, it's linked to our African heritage as well because of, um, to my understanding Africans maybe not all of them but particularly West Africans love pepper and our roots in the Caribbean our roots are heavily tied particular to West Africa. When I was growing up in Red Hill, St. Andrew, we had a pepper tree, a huge pepper tree just outside my father's bedroom. And my father loved peppers. My father would take these very hot, and trust me guys, these are hot, hot. I don't know what the peppers are like in your neck of the woods but where I'm from the peppers are packing some heat okay guys they are packing some heat and my father he would come home in the night and he'd be having his dinner and he would just go outside because it the, like I said it's a big pepper the pepper grows to about this high, so it's, it's pretty much it's a shrub, right? It's not a tree by any standard. It's a shrub, although it does, you know, it it it, it will more expand laterally as opposed to height. So he would go out and just pick a couple peppers, maybe two or three. And each mouthful of his dinner that he took, he would just bite. Just bite into the pepper and just chew it. Bite, I mean, seeds and all. And I think he directly is who I got that love of pepper from. Because I went through, as, in, as an adult, I went through a pepper phase. Where and just the other day I heard my children talking about it and they were fairly young when when I was going through this phase 
I used to just get one or two peppers, sometimes three peppers, just like this, these hot, hot peppers. And I used to just do like what my dad did, just eat it. Sometimes without even having anything else eat it, I just, I made it a habit. At least twice a day, maybe in the morning, and then just before I went to sleep, I would take a pepper and just bite into it. And just eat it or let's say I was eating something maybe a sandwich and I would just cut up lots of pepper fold it over and I'd just eat that and yes it burned yes my eyes um, watered nose you know the whole because pepper has that effect on the whole it it's it's um releases the mucus it stimulates your mucosa and so that's why pepper is very useful when you have congestion because it will make that mucus flow out right if you are in the same room when someone is cutting up this hot pepper just being in that room your eyes will start watering your nose and if let's say the person who was handling the pepper cutting up the pepper they forgot and accidentally touched their eyes or even their skin it would irritate it would cause it to burn and the thing is when you when the pepper starts burning you intuitively you might want to go drink water but it, it to me it seemed like the water makes it worse I've heard people say you are to drink milk to neutralize that burn. I don't know if that's true, if it works. But I know drinking water doesn't really help when the pepper is burning you. Like that. You pretty much just have to wait it out. Man it out or woman it out. <laughs> you know, just, just be strong, be brave. And uh, of course, you know, you have competitions where people vie to see who is the best pepper eater and who can withstand the fire that these guys pack now you have different varieties of pepper this is the um capsicum you have chili pepper you have cayenne pepper you have um jalapeno habanero the bird eye pepper um bell peppers which we in jamaica we call them sweet pepper because they they are not burn burning at all they're rather sweet and they're usually served in vegetable salads and so on they have a mild flavor on the sweet side um but these guys these are burning scotch bonnet um yeah so there's a there's a, a number of varieties of pepper and I think in Jamaica here we have some of the hottest peppers on the planet no joke about it and our pepper sauces are very popular um, you know so you might think you can handle it but it's left to be proven if you really can handle it right now in terms of the the benefits of pepper I can vouch for at least two I can personally vouch for I know that it will help to um, stimulate your mucosa and, and make your body either produce or flush out the mucus through your nostrils, the, the throat, um, expel it up through the throat or down, draining the sinuses through the nostrils. That I can vouch for. I can also vouch for the fact that consumption of pepper helps in weight loss. It speeds up your metabolism. I remember when I was going through that phase, that pepper phase, 
and I was eating pepper like three or four hot peppers per day I lost so much weight and I remember I recorded it because I, I'm always keeping journals you know everything that I do I record it and I compare and I see you know what's happening I know definitely pepper will make you lose weight I experienced that and I can vouch for that no these guys are loaded with vitamin C vitamin A potassium and folate for the vitamin C you know it's an immune booster it's an antioxidant and it helps your body to fight off free radicals that naturally occur but you want your body to flush them out efficiently so they don't cause any damage in the system for the vitamin A that's very helpful in maintaining the health of your eyes and your vascular system for the folate particularly for pregnant women you want to make sure you have enough folate so that your fetus can develop properly and to avoid defects birth defects so folate is very important and you know potassium will regulate the heart and promotes healthy cardiovascular system um, pepper you know just looking at the rich colors we can use that as an indicator many times what the fruit will do for you right so once you see these bright yellows reds um, dark purple you know that it's rich in antioxidants and it's going to be anti-inflammatory no I don't use a lot of pepper as I as I as I did you know years ago but I do still love pepper. I, I find it's more irritating um, and it's something that I would go to in a once in a while that, that the way that I was having it like two or three times just eating the whole pepper. I don't think I would go back to doing that but in terms of you know just having that spice um, putting it on things that you're eating just get get that punch get that because we love we're, we're fire people you know we're spirit people and I think we naturally gravitate towards things that have that 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 that, that um, fierceness that natural fierceness that fire Caribbean people African people that's our that's part of our heritage you know so I do love my pepper but I don't consume it several times for the day as I used to I don't I don't think it's necessary for one um, yeah but you can try it try it and tell me try it and tell me when you come to Jamaica try these guys these bad boys and tell me if it come how it compares to the peppers that you are used to all right if you are still able to talk if you are still able after you after you eat it if you are still able to talk you'll tell me how it compares all right if you have not subscribed to vibrant authentic living I would encourage you to do so now and to share the videos tell others about the videos encourage them to include more food in their diet encourage them to exercise to meditate to be calm to do their affirmations remember this is vibrant authentic living this is a lifestyle it's not a fad it's not something that we're running to as a last resort when nothing else works this is our first choice because this is what nature made for us if you would like to be a supporter of the channel there's a link in the description which will take you to patreon 
and there you can sign up to become a supporter. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Here's some pepper. Here's some pepper in your skin, man. <laughs> We're the fire people, heat people.